just had a, a Berkey Academy viewer ask me the following question. Can you please derive the Marshallian demands indirect utility function and go back again using Roy's identity from scratch? I guess I can. I don't have anything else better to do on a Friday afternoon. Well, I do, but I'll do this anyway, and I'm going to make it quick. I'm going to skip a few steps. I'm not going to show every little tiny uh, simplification, but I will do this for you. In celebration of my new laptop, a Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga 14, I'm also going to try out this uh, program here called Plumbago, which is a, a free one from Microsoft. I don't think I like it very much, but I'm going to try it for this video and just kind of see how it works out. So let's do this. Let's see if I can move this page up. I can't move it up. So, okay. I guess I'm just going to have to erase this. And let's get started. Let's specify a utility function and let's, let's do all this. So let's work with a utility function that's a little bit different from the one that I did on my other video and on my... Um, consumer theory handout that if you haven't seen that make sure you check that out I'll show a picture of it right now so you can get an idea of what it looks like uh, in this video let's use this utility function uh, we'll stick with the Cobb Douglas but let's use u equals uh, x to the point two raised to or sorry times y to the point eight okay x to the point two times y to the point eight and so if you want to get the Marshallian demand functions, you need to maximize that subject to a constraint. So, um, and the constraint is going to be that the price of X, well, let me just set up the, go ahead and set up the Lagrangian here. So set up the Lagrangian, we add, I'll we'll just call this L for the Lagrangian, plus lambda, times and then we do the uh, budget minus the price of x times x minus the price of y times y okay and then you need to take three derivatives there and solve those three um, three derivatives for the three unknowns which are going to be x star y star and lambda so the th I'll just basically set it up here. You take the derivative with respect to x, take the derivative of that with respect to y, and take the derivative with respect to lambda. And basically what you're going to get when you do those three, the derivative with respect to x is going to be point 0.2y to the point 0.8 divided by x to the point 8 you set that e oh sorry minus lambda times the price of x equals 0 take the derivative with respect to y you're going to get point 8 x to the point 2 divided by y to the point 2 minus lambda py equals 0 and then the derivative with respect to lambda just gives you the budget constraint back where basically b minus the price of x times x minus the price of y times y and again we're setting these equal to zero because we're trying to maximize them now solve those constr three constraints for the three unknowns. We're really going to just focus on two of them. We need to solve for x and y. So really we can just use these first two equations here to solve for x star and y star. And when you do that, we're going to get the Marshallian demands. So Marshallian demands are going to be We'll call those x star and y star. So x star equals, it's going to be 0.2b divided by the price of x. And y star, very similar, 0.8b. So 0.8 times your budget 
divided by the price of y. So with a Cobb-Douglas utility function, the Marshallian demands are only functions of your budget and the price of the good that you're looking at. So the Marshallian demand for x is a function of the price of x in the budget. The Marshallian demand for y is just a function of the budget and the price of y. So now that we have the Marshallian demand, if you want the indirect utility function, all you do is you plug the x star function here and the y star function back into this original utility function, x to the point 2 times y to the point 8. So in other words, we just have, let me choose a, a different color here, green. So the indirect utility function is just take that x star and substitute it into that x. So you just get point 0.2b over the price of x raised to the point 0.2 power because that's what we have up here. And then same thing for the y to the point 0.8. We take the y star and we plug it in. Point 0.8b divided by the price of y raised to the 0.8 power. And that's your indirect utility function right there. Now you can simplify it a little bit and really you know for the most part what you can do to simplify this is you can pull these constants out. Okay so if you want to simplify it a little bit you can say okay well let's let's see what really what you can do is you can distribute this is kind of what we're doing. We're going to distribute the point 2 power to the point 2 and the b and the px. And then you can distribute the point 8 power to the point 8, the b, and the py. And realizing that lets you pull out that those two constants and then we can multiply them together. So in other words, we can rewrite this as point 2 to the point 2 times point eight to the point eight times b over px to the point two times b to the point eight over the price of y. Okay? Now something else that you could do if you wanted oh sorry, that point eight goes on the outside of the parentheses because every all of that is to the point eight power. Now another thing you could do if you wanted to is you can realize here that we have b to the point eight times b to the point two. We could add those exponents and simplify that to get just b to the first power. Okay? So if we do all those simplifications, get two to the point two. times 8 to the point 8 and that gives us oh sorry it's point 2 point 2 to the point 2 times point 8 raised to the point 8 and I get about point 606 for those okay so the indirect Let's just say indirect equals 0.606 roughly. And then we could collect those b's if we wanted to, and that's just b to the first power. And then that's going to leave us 1 over p px to the point 2, or we could write that just px to the minus point 2, and py to the minus point 8. That's probably the uh, simplest way that you could write that indirect function. Now, what we want to do is use Roy's identity to get back these indirect, sorry, these Marshallian demands using Roy's identity. And Roy's identity says this. And let me change my notation a little bit just to be consistent with the way I have it on my utility theory handout. I call this indirect utility u star. And so 
Roy's identity says that if we take the derivative of this indirect utility function u star with respect to the price of x, partial derivative with respect to the price of x, and we divide that by the partial derivative of u star with respect to the budget, that that ratio will give us the Marshallian demand for x. And if we do likewise, and we take the partial derivative of this with respect to the price of y, same thing on the bottom, uh, partial derivative of utility with respect to the budget, then we will get the Marshallian demand for y. So let's go and do that. So the partial derivative of this function with respect to the price of x first. So let's make a little line here so we can separate. And let's go, let's go back to blue since that might be a little easier to read here. So partial derivative, let's do that first of utility with respect to the price of x. We're going to take the minus 0.2 and we're going to multiply that by this whole thing here. So minus 0.2 times 0 0.606 is minus 0.1212. So minus 0.1212 times the budget, times P of X, and we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent, so minus 0.2 minus 1 is going to be minus uh, 1.2, so price of X to the minus 1.2, and times the price of Y to the minus 0.8. And then we need to do this second partial derivative on the bottom. So derivative of utility with respect to the budget. And that's going to be very easy. It's just uh, budget to the first power there. And so we're just going to end up with 0 0.606 price of x to the minus 0.2 price of y to the minus 0.8. And then what we want to do is divide that top by the bottom. So what are we going to end up with when we do that? What we should end up with is the same thing we had over here. So let me circle that. That's our target is that it should simplify down just to be 0.2 times b over the price of x. Let's see how that's going to work. So we can see immediately that these two are going to cancel. py to the minus 0.8, they're going to cancel. Here we have the price of x, p, the price of x raised to the minus 1.2, and we're going to when we look at this ratio, we're going to subtract a minus 0.2. So the price of x to the minus 1.2 minus a minus 0.2 is going to give us the price of x to the minus 1. Okay, so we've handled those two. We're going to end up with the price of x to the minus 1 power. And then here we have... a minus 0.1212 divided by 0 0.606 and I and now I'm noticing a problem I made a mistake when I wrote down Roy's identity up here Roy's identity is supposed to be this it's supposed to have the minus sign before it the negative of the ratio of these two derivatives I apologize for leaving it out. You'll see that it's written correctly on my consumer theory handout. And so the reason that's important is we have a minus sign here and it has to get canceled out somehow. So minus the ratio here. So we'll put the minus up there. 
So that's going to cancel out that minus sign. And 0.1212 divided by 0 0.606 gives you 0 0.2. So we have 0.2, and that B still gets carried along, 0.2B. Price of x to the minus 1, which is exactly the same thing we got here. Now, since it's Friday afternoon, I'm going to leave as an exercise for you to do the same thing. If you really want to understand this, you do it yourself, and you take the partial derivative of this with respect to the price of y, and the partial derivative with respect to the budget, which is going to be this same thing, 0.606, price of x to the minus 0.2, price of y to the minus 0.8, and see if you can simplify it to get the Marshallian demand for y. Okay? Now hopefully that help, helped out the person who asked the question. And if you have any other questions that you want to ask, please um, either email me or leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, this is Berkey Academy. It's Friday afternoon. I'm signing off. So good luck with your microeconomics studies.